What is up, YouTube? And welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! House. Today, I'll be breaking down the top 5 decks boosted by our most recent ban list that will take effect on December the 1st. Before we dive in, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, let's jump in. First and foremost, let's quickly go over what exactly happened on the Forbidden list. Newly banned cards are Mystic Mine and Curious the Lightsworn Dominion. Joining the limited list, we have Herald of the Orange Light. Bringing itself up to two, we have Lyralisk Recital Starling. And all these cards have been brought up to a playset. We have Teller Knight Ptolemaeus, Dimensional Fissure, Fire Formation Tenki, Macro Cosmos, and Metaverse. Now that we know what we're dealing with, it's safe to say that the fifth spot on this list goes to Sprite and its many variants. While the list didn't directly boost or nerf the deck, without Herald of the Orange Light wrecking your gigantic sprite plays, the deck has an easier time in its matchup with Ishizu Tierlaments. But since the boost was only because the best deck in the format lost access to its turn 0 negate and destroy, it's only at the number 5 spot on this list. At the 4th spot, I've included the Bistral deck and its many variants. But more notably, I want to highlight the decks taking advantage of the Thunder Dragon package to circumvent the newly released cards of Macrocosmos and Defissure. Of course, the deck can run the Floodgates themselves, but would likely reserve them for the side deck. And there are other spots on this list that can really take advantage of our brand new Forbidden list. But all in all, the deck is a natural counter to the Ishizu Tier Limit strategy all while setting up huge dragon plays like the Trishula Fusion that banishes key extra deck cards like Kick Kalos. At third, Exosisters got a huge boost on the ban list, even with Mystic Mind getting banned. With more floodgates at their disposal, locking you out of your graveyard, and bringing the temple down to a crawl to set up OTKs with cards like Exosister Magnifica is what this deck is known for. Not to mention, the deck can play on their Necro Valley, which can be turboed out from the deck with Metaverse, which is now at 3. Pair that with Trap Trick, and this deck becomes any Ishizu Tier Limit player's nightmare. It would be absurd not to place Tri Brigade Lyralisk within the top 2 decks because of the sheer amount of support the ban list has blessed this deck with. With everyone playing Bystro Monsters to counter Ishizu Tier, those cards are almost completely useless against this strategy. Recital Starling being back at 2 has opened up Utopic Draco plays, and with just a single brick in the deck, you can completely abuse Ptolemaeus' effect to outright skip your opponent's turn. Fire Formation Tenki being at 3 adds so much consistency, and Tri Brigade Lyralisk can slap down a Defissure at the end of their combo to really seal the game. But the reason it isn't at 1 is because it does have quite the tough time competing with Ishizu tier, unlike the number 1 slot. In first place, it's a no brainer that the deck which is by far the most boosted deck in the room is Floanderies. RIP to all the people who thought cards like Map and Advent were going to get hit because of how much success this deck has been having at now several YCSs, so hold on because this deck looks like it's going to be at full power for the foreseeable future. Floanderies has a plethora of floodgates at its disposal like Necro Valley, Defissure, and Macro Cosmos, and it goes without saying that Floanderies can even main deck things like D-Shifter to really pile on the tier hate. It's already the best counter to the best deck in the format, plus it can run over just about any rogue deck it comes across, making it a formidable contender in any sort of tournament. Though, the only thing holding Floanderies back is itself. The deck has issues with consistency and going second, but these problems are circumvented by powerful pot cards like Pot of Prosperity, Pot of Duality, and the occasional Pot of Extravagance. Alright guys, this has been Yu-Gi-Oh! House's top 5 decks boosted by the ban list. 
make sure to let me know how you guys are feeling about this ban list in the comment section below. Thank you so much for checking back in with the channel. Have a wonderful holiday season and peace.